Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you how to make a frame uh, around a picture in Inkscape. It's very easy, we are going to use a picture and we are going to use a bordered frame. So you are going to learn not only how to make the frame itself, but how to make the corners rounded and how to set up the, the color of the frame. So let me start with the blank page here. The dimensions, I've already set them up to 480 by 351. If you want to see how to set up the page dimensions, page sizes in Inkscape, just click on the link and see my other video. And let me show you what I want to do today. I'm going to make a featured image for my new article. Here is one that you see and the new article is going to be uh, how to work from home. So I want to make a picture. I want to make a like this orange color. I hope you see it this orange color border, the rounded border the same way we have it here. And in another video I'm going to show you how to make the text. So this video only about the picture and the frame. So <coughs> I just clicked here to came here to Pixabay and this is a very cool site. You can find thousands of free pictures. They are absolutely free and typed in home office and this is the one I actually like the girl in the bedroom. So I'm going to go ahead and download this picture. It's free to use make sure to use the picture use a picture size the minimum of your target size your target picture so i'm going to make a 480 by 351 the 640 by 426 is okay but if i were to make a picture that's bigger than 640 then these dimensions that i would use the bigger one because in inkscape you can shrink the picture or you can enlarge it, but the picture quality won't be as good uh, as the original one if you enlarge the picture. So for me, this one, the smallest one is okay right now. I go ahead and download this picture. Here it is, the downloaded picture. So this is the one we are going to use. Let me show you. This is downloaded to my computer. And let me bring back Inkscape. What I did is this is just holding the control key and playing with your mouse wheel and the size, the actual size that you see will vary as you see the picture. So just let me go back here and just place this picture here, embed, fine. So you see we have a picture. So the next step is to set the size to, to align the size to the page size. So we have a 480 by 351 size page. So just I click on the picture. So I go ahead, I click here, I close the padlock and I click three, I, I type in 351 here. So you see I actually shrank the size of the picture to the size of my page. If I want to align the picture to the page, and that's what I want to do. If you want to align the picture, just go ahead and press Ctrl Shift A. This brings back the align and distribute window here. We want to align our picture to the page, so that's okay. The picture is selected, so just go ahead and click align horizontally and vertically here. And what you see is your picture is aligned to the page itself. So the next step is to create the frame. It's very easy because the, the only thing you have to do is create a rectangle. Just go ahead and click here or press F4. Create a rectangle whatever size you want. It doesn't really matter in this, at this stage. Okay, we have a rectangle. So now just go ahead and set up the sizes of the rectangle, which in this case is going to be the same as the picture size or, or the page size, which is 480 by 351. So I type in 480, 351. Okay, the rounded corners now are set up to 10 pixels. You can change this. If, uh, if uh, I change this to five and the other one to five, you see the, the rounds uh, the corners will actually shrink and if I 
click here or um, set up 20 we are going to have bigger uh, corners I'm going to use 10 use whatever you want okay so we are good to go so let's set up the colors of the frame because this time we have this is not this is not what we want so I'm go ahead and press Control alt F and I bring up the fill and stroke window I select my rectangle I unselect click here in this X the uh, which which says no paint in the fill section this way I remove the fill color whatever the fill color is click stroke paint and set up the actual color of the border you can use these ones here or I just go ahead and type in our color which is F A six four zero zero one more thing you can set up the actual width of your border just go ahead and click here stroke style I'm going to use five pixels I just change this to five and just the last thing I don't know why this is set to 50% my opacity I just bring this up to 100% but of course you can leave it as well, the way you like 50% 60% whatever you want I'm using 100% okay now it's time to center the border to my page vertically and horizontally and we're good to go now if I want to align my picture uh, horizontally because you see you have some parts here and some parts here I just go ahead and click on the picture and I can use my arrow keys to move the picture the way I want I, actually I think this is good this uh, way because I want to place some text here later but you can move your picture so now it's time to make the border to crop the picture the the picture with the girl what I want to do is to create another layer here to create another border which is very simple I just go ahead and click on the border and uh, press ctrl D which me makes duplicate and then I select the last one and move it here you see I have two borders now you'll see why uh, we want to do this and now I click on the picture I hold control shift I click on the border so both are selected first the picture then the border then I go ahead and click object clip set and this is the most important step object click clip set and that's what we did we actually cropped the image and removed you see the not only the the borders but remo removed all this rounded corners so we are good to go but we unfortunately also removed the border so that's why we needed to duplicate it so it's very easy just click on this border Sender it to the page horizontally and vertically and you're good to go this is as easy as it goes you have the picture you have the picture frame we've set up the color of the border and or, or the frame and we also set up the corners now let me save this and export it as a bitmap so I'm going to export the whole page and let me show you what we have here so this is the actual picture that we've created and when I click on this we have the border and we also have the, the rounded corners and everything looks as we wanted it to look so I hope this helped I hope you can now make a frame around the picture even with rounded corners even if you have to change the colors in Inkscape it's very easy you can play with it then later if it helped please make sure to press the like button this helps me a lot and please also subscribe to the WP Cookhouse channel to see more Inkscape tutorials and of course more tutorials about how to make money online and thank you for watching